does the chicken broccoli water diet or plan help you lose weight? Pretty good question. Yes, it does. That's without a doubt. Very broad question, a very tough question to answer because it's always individualized. And I feel like this is the problem with most diet plans, and I would say all diet plans, but not only diet plans, but diet followers. They believe that their plan is the one and only way to make things work for them. Because this is what I did when I was 18 and I was in my bathing suit. I don't know why she sounds like me and I just went on spring break and it was great. This is the time I lost weight when I was 40. I ate nothing but beans and water and then I went back to playing football. Well, what happened to you guys now? You gained weight back? Yes. You gained weight back? Yes. Exactly. And that's what happens on diet plans. They're very short term. Any diet you choose, as long as you stick to their regimen and it's detail presented to you, any plan is going to work, guys. Why? Less calories. Boom. And you're probably going to feel good, so you're going to get moving more, because without diet, it's exercise. So what do you do more? You walk more, you go outside more, you maybe strength train, play sports, you get more active. And number three, you hold yourself accountable to a plan. That's why diets work. Now, if there's no one there to hold you accountable, well, that's just a plan that's going to last for four weeks, correct? So any plan works as long as there's accountability. Now, in particular, why does chicken and broccoli work? Well, it's protein and vegetables. And we all know what the main, what the main cause of fat gain and diabetes. Fucking carbohydrates. Not all carbohydrates, guys. I'm not gonna know oh, he hates carbs. Fuck, I, I love carbs. Do you think I wanna eat this shit? No, I want a Big Mac. I want one, I want pizza. I'm a fat kid at heart. I was 215, 230. Had a point, ooh, it's a fly. I had eating disorders. Made myself vomit. They stuck on weight for years, 30 years plus. You guys don't know that. Of course I want that shit but it's not sustainable for my lifestyle. And that's the same thing with any diet plan. Of course, you're going to lose weight in the beginning. Now, what are the things, the tools, the, the habits, the structures that you learned in that diet plan that's gonna help you keep it off, that's gonna help you sustain and make it uh, livable? You know, I still, I, you know, I, of course I go out and like I'll have a sandwich. I know what's gonna happen if I have that sandwich. I, guys, I'm still limited in the foods I can have, so don't go out there thinking I'm having like a chicken parm sandwich, which I really want. I really want a chicken parm sandwich. Really bad. I'm from New Jersey. They got some good pizza and good chicken parm sandwiches. Fuck. But I can't. So I, I'll go out and get like a lettuce chicken with vinegar and maybe some cheese, maybe. Usually fresh mozzarella, because that's one that's like the realer for me. And I'll put some balsamic vinegar and I'll eat that sandwich. But because I ate the bread, which I don't know who made it, I don't know what type of ingredients are inside, I don't know where it's manufactured from, was it made homemade? I don't know. My stomach is going to be in shambles. So for me, that's a choice I'm going to make. And yeah, sometimes I make that choice, knowing that I'm going to lay down in bed for the next five hours. All right, and so it's, it's willpower. You can only have so much. There's points in life that you have to, you know, you have to loosen up the fucking chain a little bit. And yeah, are you gonna pay for it? Yeah. If you steal something and you get caught, are you gonna pay for it? Most likely. So the thing is, like, will the chicken broccoli water plan work? Yeah. It's kind of like a keto, right, plan. Or a paleo plan. It just reduces the calorie intake of what you normally do or increase the macronutrients that you're missing. Some people don't eat, and that's the problem. But some of you guys don't eat at all, and then being on a plan puts you on some type of calorie, usually they'll be based off of like 1,600 calories, right? I don't even know. It depends on whoever makes a plan. Move 2,000 for men, 16 for women. That's what they do if they make just like a generic one. But you're still either eating more or eating less than you did, which, show, which causes adaptation, and your body just responds to it. And then, of course, when you feel good, right? You're drinking more water. I feel good. I'm eating better. I'm making better choices. Fuck, I'm going to go run. And that's what happens. You guys go running and you do things actively and now you're burning more calories. But at the same time, you're building muscles. You're challenging your strength. You're making your heart move, which is really important. So like I said, any diet plan that you choose to be on, doesn't have to be on this one. You can jump on stuff. Who do you like? What do you think is going to be best for you? Follow it. Follow it to its fullest extent. But at the end of the day, it's going to stop. 
right? 12 days, it's usually 12 weeks or 16 weeks. Those are the challenges. They're like, here's a 30 day challenge. Why don't you be a part of it? Shut up. Here's a 30 day challenge in my nose. I want to say something else. I said in my nose. 30 day challenge. Here, three months, 106 days. I guarantee you're going to, I don't know this guy. I guarantee you're going to lose weight. You're going to be, shut up. What's best for you? What are the things you're going to learn in that plan? What are the fucking recipes? What are the recipes that you really liked? You know, those are huge. So the next time that you want to fall off, you can always fall back to that plan to make proper decisions to keep you healthy. Will you gain a little bit of the weight that you have lost in the beginning? Maybe. It all depends on you. Because just like everything else, when your body changes, you have to make adjustments. Okay, because if you did lose 12 pounds, well then that plan no longer suits you. Because now you have to find a new plan that's gonna help you at that calorie count or whatever calorie count you're at presently, not what you used to do. Am I getting confusing? See, I'm trying to keep it simple. I got too much in here. I gotta, sometimes I don't have too much in here. But I gotta try to figure out a way to make it simpler for you to understand. And I will do that. Comment down below, let me know, and we'll figure out a way. Why? Because I wanna keep this shit as simple as chicken, broccoli, water. Done. Like, subscribe, comment, and subscribe. So the main question is, Pete, do you wear the same hat and shirt all the time? No, I just filmed the videos all in the same day.